Live from Providence, this is ABC 6 News at 11 in high definition. Good evening, I'm Karen Myers. And good evening, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm John DeLuca. An atheist group based in another state is demanding that a religious theme memorial be removed from publicly owned property. It happened in Cranston, of course, and now it's happening once again. This time, instead of a prayer banner in a high school, it's a cross at a memorial for veterans in Woonsocket. ABC 6 reporter James Horsman joined us now live with more on the letter that started all of this and reaction from folks in Woonsocket. James. John, the memorial in front of Woonsocket's number two fire station has stood since 1921 and honors the service and memory of four Woonsocket veterans who died in two world wars. Now it's being called illegal because the memorial is topped by a cross and it stands on public property. For Debbie Flitman and members of the Freedom From Religion Foundation, this is simple. A cross can't be on public property. It's illegal and we know that. And just because it's been there for 90 something years doesn't make it right. A woman who lives in Woonsocket but has not been identified was offended by the memorial and contacted an atheist group based in Wisconsin. That contact led the Freedom From Religion Foundation to send this complaint letter to Mayor Fontaine asking that the cross be removed from the memorial. If they want to have a religious symbol, we'll go ahead, but just not on city property. The request is not sitting well with many in Woonsocket. We're angry that we're broke. We're angry that we are going to pay a supplemental tax. And now this group gets in and wants to disturb the hornet's nest. Bring it on because we're looking for someone to take it out on. Especially veterans who feel that removing the cross would be an insult to the four service men at honors. They believe the request to remove it is ridiculous, even if the cross's presence on public land is illegal. This is just an attack. It's, it's a terrible attack. It's, it's sort of another form of terrorism is what I think it is, you know. You don't know whether to be angry that these people even exist or do you feel bad because they have nothing else better to do. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, I think it's sickening at this point. This request to remove the cross comes just months after the Cranston prayer banner controversy was settled. And some power players in the state fear that cases involving separation of church and state like this one will now become more and more routine. I'm not surprised because what happened in Cranston, I figured that was just going to be the start. Where is it going to stop? I mean, this is just the beginning. Now, while the residents I spoke to want the city to fight for this, the city is still weighing its options. Several veterans groups have come forward to say they will definitely fight to keep the memorial intact where it is. They say they've already been in contact with lawyers willing to fight the request through the courts for free. And if it is forced off public property, the same veterans group say that they'd love to have it displayed on their own property. Reporting live, I'm James Swarsman, ABC 6 News.